A man in Goebbels had the most precious thing he owned stolen just yeah. days before Christmas. Our Atra El Najar spoke with him about the plea for it to be returned. Atra. Yeah, Derek and Janice, when Kenneth Pickworth learned that his storage unit was broken into, he wasn't surprised that they took some expensive stuff, but he was shocked to find they also took something that can never be replaced. The owner called me in when I was at work uh, the 23rd of December, and um, he said that, that I asked me if I left my door open. I said, I never leave my door open. For the past year and a half, Kenneth Pickworth has rented out this storage unit at Michael T. Rock Storage Units in Bloomingdale. When he got a call from the owner that his unit and the unit next to his was broken into, he came right over to assess the damage. Among the missing items were a coin collection, guitars and amps. But when he looked here and saw that a box was missing, his heart sank. His sister's ashes were gone. It was, it was about this wide right here, about this tall. Was it flipped over with a with a bag in it, with a death certificate and a little tag that they give you. A few years ago, his 37-year-old half-sister, Jerry Joe Earls, died of a heroin overdose. She had four kids. I was going to have it, have the urns made up and give it to my nieces and my nephews. There were no security cameras that caught the break-in. I'm lost for words on this. It's just, it's just, I don't know. Pickworth filed a report with the Van Buren County Sheriff's Office, but says if the person who stole it comes forward, he won't ask questions. They could bring it at 34968 Mill Lake Road in Goebbels, Michigan, and I'm up. I'll take it with no questions asked. I got a $500 award, too, if anybody, you know, brings it back to me. Just the ashes. I don't care about the material stuff. Just bring my sister's, sister's ashes back. That's all I asked for. Now, inside the box with the ashes was also his sister's death certificate. We reached out to the Van Buren County Sheriff's Department about the status of the investigation, but have yet to hear back. And again, he's just asking for those ashes to be dropped off at his home, and we've got his address on our website. Live in the studio, Atrel Nishar, Fox 17 News. All right,